Well, I'm back on the 574 again, and uh, I'm having a look at the thermostat today. I know it hasn't been working, and uh, I know that the wire was off on the back of the ignition switch. Uh, so I've checked there was 12 volts coming out of the ignition switch, which there is. Uh, and I'm going to pull this wire off here on the uh, thermostat button. And uh, we're going to wire up the old... Uh, uh, volt and uh, ammeter uh, and see what we've got. So there, first of all we've fastened the uh, volt side of the meters uh, to the wire and uh, to get a good ground I've put the uh, negative side straight onto the battery. So now I'll just try the ignition switch. And yes, we're quite clearly getting uh, power to the uh, unit. So now I've fastened the uh, amp side up. Uh, got the red one to the wire and the black one to the terminal on the thermostat. We'll try the ignition switch again. And there's nothing on the ammeter, no draw at all. I don't know what these do draw, I would have expected between uh, 10 and 20 amps perhaps. This is a good way to test uh, all the uh, uh, heat plugs and things. I mean, uh, most of them draw around 20 amps. Uh, so if you fasten the ammeter on the battery, providing you've got a big enough one, say you have a uh, four cylinder vehicle with uh, four uh, heat plugs on it, you would uh, expect it to draw 80 amps. Uh, having checked one to see if one draws 20. Well, I've got the new glow plug today and uh, I'm just going to go and put it on the tractor. So I have uh, just screwed it in, 15 16 spanner and a 17 16 spanner for the pipe nut. And I temporarily blocked the uh, pipe to stop the diesel dribbling, dribbling out. And the answer is it uses about 10 amps. There was a wire off the ammeter, I put it back on and now when you work the heater you can see the uh, needle move. So we'll hold it on for 30 seconds or so and uh, see if the tractor starts. Well, I think you'll agree that made a significant difference.